That's what we saw when we saw the big screen and donate the, the salary to, to, to come to the hospital. How meaningful is that for you to be able to do that for a long time? Uh, I mean, it's to me, it means a lot, you know. Uh, when uh, um, when I was kind of away from the game, trying to figure out uh, what could motivate me to play for something bigger than just myself, because um, you know, like it was to me a big disappointment. But also throughout the process, you learn how to understand certain things, you know, this new way of living, and uh, and you know, you know, my dad was my first believer. You know, he spent his own money uh, to allow me to perhaps follow my dreams and pay money out of his own pocket uh, because he just believed that, you know, I, I could make it. I had a chance to give me a chance to make it in life, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I've always said, you know, the, the goal in life is never to live forever, but to live something that will live forever, you know. Obviously, uh, he spent most of his time servicing people. And I think for me, it was just, you know, I think the day I pick up the phone and tell my agent that I was ready to play, one of the things that I did commit uh, in the conversation, and what I told him was I wanted my salary for this year to go to the construction of the hospital for my dad. Um, because I wanted, you know, I wanted and I had a desire uh, to build him something that one will have his name and two, hopefully it goes for generation and that will service people and continue to service people. Uh, hopefully we can save as many lives as we can. I know he couldn't be here to witness that, but I'm sure he's happy on the other side that I get to do something for him. This is the least I could do for him. You know, after all he has done for me, for my brothers, my sisters, and so many people back home that he has helped. And this is actually just a continuation been doing yeah was, 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 just, was just the proudest moment for you during the process no really you know like um my, my dad and i we've invested uh, ourselves a lot in the foundation it's been 10 years my dad and i have been working together with the foundation uh uh you know when we you know when i decided and we decided to come up with the idea of the foundation it was just uh to service people uh you know at a time i you know i never and didn't want to be able to get in front of cameras one day I retire and say, you know, I was the only one that, you know, that came from that place and that succeed. We wanted to produce as many uh, Bismarck's as we can, uh, whether it was in the medical field, whether it was, you know, in, in sport, uh, whatever that is, just finding ways to create opportunities. Obviously we have, you know, together we were able to accomplish a lot during that time while it was here, you know, um, brother was building schools, um, doing um, medical donations. Even when COVID hit, uh, when we sent those containers back home back then, he was in charge of running those containers and he was still sacrificing and making his time, you know, to make sure that other people were going to uh, survive as well, you know. So uh, the idea of, you know, like putting this public is also welcoming other people that, feel comfortable enough rather to be part of this or to ever want to come to Congo with us. You know, we always have our doors open. You know, that was the whole thing with my dad. He welcomed everybody. And, and again, I was extremely blessed. You know, God has blessed me so much, you know, to be surrounded by amazing people. And, uh, and I was fortunate enough to be in a situation and conditions where I could actually you know, evacuate him and put him on a medical plane, give him the best care possible. But, you know, when I first got home, you know, going to those hospitals back home, you know, my question was always, you know, how about these people that, that, that cannot take their families out? I have the capability of doing that, you know, uh, and I could sit here and complain about it, you know, and, 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 and always ask myself these questions. But the reality of it is, even if my dad, would have made it, I think we would have find ways to dive into this because I experienced it firsthand and, you know, I really feel for these people. You know, you go there and then they, 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 they're fighting for their lives and, you know, and there's only so much you can do at that time because you have your loved one that's also dealing with so much and now you, your main focus is him, but you're also looking at the surrounding 
my God, I wish I could do something about this, you know? And I think, you know, this, this is the best way I find that, it, you know, that this year will be meaningful to me. Uh, it's not just the desire to go for a championship, but also the, the desire to save lives. And at the end of this season, I really want to be able to look back and say, you know, I dedicated this season to my dad and, and we went for a championship. God will, we'll win a championship too. Uh, you know, like I will have tears, but it's not going to be tears of, of sadness. It'd be tears of joy because God has given me the opportunity to do something for others. And my dad will be able to cherish this on the other side. And, you know, we have had so many people reach out. They want to help. And I'm so thankful to everybody out there that really want to help. You know, I, you know, I'm grateful because, you know, I do things here with some of the people that I never come across. And there's so many people that's helping, you know, back home that they never going to meet these families that have been helping. So I'm extremely grateful to all these people and, and mostly the organization, you know, the Sons organization I've play a big role in how uh, we accomplish this. So I'm really thankful, not just for the opportunity to be here, but them seeing my vision and wanting to help me help my people, you know. It's a blessing to be part of, you know, this journey they're on. And hopefully at the end of the season, we can look back and really be grateful for what God has done for us. There's other player that comes to mind when it comes to uh, giving back and uh, building hospitals uh, home country that could be uh, Kemi Mutombo. Uh, you ever discussed or talked with him at all? No, that's just my big brother. You know, Dikembe is my big brother, man. I wish I had my phone on so I can call him, but I know you guys probably can't hear his voice on the phone. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But uh, but no, it's my big brother. You know, he's one of the first person when I got home, you know, that I call. Because when I got home, what we started doing is bringing in doctors. And one of the person that I called first was him. Like, do you have anybody that you can send my way and anybody can put me in touch? And then from there, obviously, I had to reach out to people outside of the country. But, you know, the Kemba has has done so much, but if you look at the, the statistics of, of how many doctors we have in the country, it's not just about building hospitals, it's also about producing doctors. You know, there is like one doctor for every, I think 10,000 or 20,000 uh, people in the country. And and if you, if you really think about it, it's that we have over uh, 80 million people and is one of the poorest country, but also one of the richest countries as far as natural resources. The country is worth over $24 trillion. So I could sit here and complain about all these things that goes on and on. And, you know, I, my, my dad is, and, and I will always go back and forth, like we are doers. We take actions rather than sit here and complain. And, we educate the next generation. We have to build a platform so that hopefully a decade from now, we don't have to complain so much about the things we can fix and information we can pass on to the next generation, you know? So I think this is also an action that, that will hopefully uh, start something. Uh, hopefully we get as many guys as possible on board. Um, I've had a lot of my friends and ex-teammate reach out and, you know, like to me, the idea was, is not even about the recognition, to be honest. Like to me, it's just that I get to do something for my dad that hopefully my kids some days will be able to look back and say I did something, you know, with the problems and issues that the country was facing. So, you know, again, I'm, I'm always grateful uh, to be in this position because as a kid, you never once thought that this is going to be my position. You know, as a kid, you just wanted to play basketball and survive. And here we are, you know, playing at the highest level. And what's the most we could do for other people, you know? So. Oh, uh, a lot of my ex-teammates, actually. I can't say their names because I don't know how comfortable they are. Uh, there's one of my friends actually that's visiting as well. He wanted to be here on the announcements. And uh, 
And it's just, and then uh, we've put emails, we've received so many emails to social and, and, and social media messages. But the idea of this is like, I never want to be the guy that just go and ask people, hey amen, this is my idea, I want you to support. I've always said, I'm going to put out my own money. And, and because I want people to understand that I'm not just asking them for an idea that I have. I believe so much in my idea that I'm really I'm willing to push as far as I can to make sure that this idea and dream become reality. So, you know, initially we we went back and forth. We didn't want to announce it um, because th this decision I made it back in November, and this is before I even get back to play. But then it was like. What's the point of doing something generous if you cannot give people at least an opportunity to be part of it, you know? So I think this is the way we find it was right. But, you know, whoever going to feel comfortable enough to speak out about this, I'm sure they'll be here on the microphone talking about it. <laughs> How much does that support from you know, teammates, from the organization you're playing for? How much does that mean? Because you know you go about it that way, and you want to put yourself, right. put your money for yourself. But to see other people pick up on that and want to help, what does that mean? To you? And it's a blessing, you know. It's a blessing, and it gives me hope for the world we live in. Um, you know, there's so much that goes on around the world that sometimes we, we tend to forget that there is also so many good people with kind heart that want to leave this place a better place that we found it you know so uh i cherish this moment because you know we all somehow connected and you know and in this journey of life that we're on we only have so much time here on earth and and i think as everybody trying to play the you know rather it's big or small role in this journey I think at the end of our days, we'll be able to look back and say we have achieved so much than we expected. And I'm just grateful to be in an environment like this. You know, I uh, I think during the All-Star, I send a message to, to, to a coach, just, you know, letting him know how grateful I am. You know, when I walk in, in here, they didn't have to welcome the way they welcomed me, you know, like rather it was from a player perspective or coach's perspective, you know. And, and, and I walk in here like I've been here for a long time. And I, I, I didn't practice with the team or anything, but the game just feel, you know, I feel so much joy playing the game. And that's the, just after the first game, I was like, this was like the perfect situation because you get to enjoy the game. You, you play with guys that understand why, you know, winning means, you know, and, and, and that's, you know, to me, I, I never want to take these things for granted. You know, sometimes we tend to forget the position we're in. And obviously being in this environment with people not just want to support you on the court, but also off the court, it's, it's, it's a blessing. You know, the league has been amazing to me, and I think it is the right thing to reach out and, and save, hopefully, as many lives as we can. And if we can, if we can only save one life, you know what? We've done our part. Bismack, was there a certain point in your career where you realized the, the platform that you had to make people like us, for example, who were unaware of what's going on in the Congo, that you were going to be able to spread awareness with the magnitude that you can uh, being in your position? Uh, you know, I started I started my foundation actually when I was uh, when I was 19. You know, this is how we started. Funny enough, you know, uh, I was uh, I was struggling uh, slipping and this was after a season. We had a really bad season. And as, as a young guy, you come in, you, you have high expectation of yourself. You want to win. You work too hard. And then things wasn't going uh, our way. And we had one of the worst seasons probably in the, in, the, in the history of the league. And then I think the Sixers was after that. Uh, back then, we were the Bobcats. So I was really struggling with dealing with the season. And, um, and uh, uh Right after the season, I was like, I need to go home. I need to go check on my family, you know. And I just woke up one day. I had this feeling was I was like, you know, I'm going to do basketball camp. You know, I'm going to grab about, uh, I'm going to go buy some shoes, 
like maybe 25 shoes. I call our equipment manager at a time. Anything you have, I can take home for the kids. So he gave me a bunch of stuff. And then uh, I took like, I had like six bags and take them in. <laughs> and, and I packed my speaker, you know, I called my brothers. I said, find me 20, 25 kids. I still got a picture somewhere. And uh, and I said, look, I'm, I'm going to be the DJ. I'm going to be the coach. And I'm just going to have fun with these kids. And I'm going to give them, you know, new pair of shoes, like new T-shirts, uh, shorts, and all that stuff. So they could just have new stuff because at their age, the first time I had my brand new pair of shoes was when I was 16, when I left the country. Never had a brand new pair of shoes while I was at home. So while I give some of them the shoes, they were looking at them going to hide, like they're going to use it for school here and all that. I just had so much joy, you know watching them go through the whole process. And then and then after that, I went home, talked to my parents, um, my mom and dad, and then I went home, I went to my, to my hotel, slept like a baby, man. Struggling, sleeping for two weeks, slept like a baby. It literally was like this. And then the next day I woke up, I went, went and had a conversation with my parents, like, and I've been struggling, sleeping for two weeks. And the first time I did this, I really like fall asleep. And like, oh, just make an obser uh, observation and see if it, if it repeats itself. Maybe it's something you might start looking into. Maybe, you, you know, you you were put in that position to service other people, you know. And then the second day, I give them some more stuff. We had a great time. And I went back and slept like a baby again. I went and have a conversation with my parents. And they were like, maybe this is something you should look into. So I came back. Our conversation with my sponsors, they're like, yeah, we can support 100 kids. And then we, we were able to get gears from like Jordan brand. So the following here, we are like 100 kids and we had an amazing time. We are coaches and, and we find some kids and then we start giving kids scholarships. So it become a yearly thing where we'll go home with the basketball camp and then we'll, we'll give scholarships. So it was early on that I just had a desire to, to help people, but I had to go to something. But even when I was in Spain, I was helping the kids I was my age. I, I think it's just growing in the environments. You know, my dad has always helped people. You know, like we grew up in a house with uh, three bedroom. My mom and my dad had their bedroom. We had the bedroom, uh, the one bedroom for the girls, one for the boys. And the one for the boys was like nine of us, you know, like three people per bed. And and and, and sometimes we didn't have enough food, but then you I was always asking my dad, like, we don't have enough, but you're still welcoming more people, you know? It just don't make sense, but but it was like you can you cannot also abandon people, you know. Whatever we have, we have to share with others. So we were raised in that mentality of sharing with others and caring for others. So you know, it, it was like second nature to me when I got to the league. Like, thank God I've made money that my kids shouldn't have to worry, you know, my family. But I also think I was put in this position. I understand how important it is for me to be in this position. And I understand that there's an opportunity to do something and I don't want to waste it because we can only live for so long. God forbid, 10 years from now, I'm not here. And then... You know, like, is there ever, I got to wait for the right timing to do things, you know? So I think the opportunity is here to do it now. And, you know, I think we, those ones that perhaps we've been waiting for, and we have to take this opportunity. Otherwise, we'll be, we'll be looking for the next generation to do so. They're going to look for the next generation, so on and on. But if we could set a good example for the next generation, I think when they come in, they would do better than we are doing now. It's like you're creating your own cycle. Like a new cycle. There we go. So, but again, I, I appreciate you guys for shining some lights on, on this. You know, I'm really grateful to you guys as well. I don't think we, without you guys, we'll be able to reach out to as many people. So thank you. And uh, I hope you have a great day, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.